Hi, this is Gil Robles, and I'm starting a watercolor that I did on my lunch hour on my job. Uh, so I did this video then, and I'm, I'm doing the voiceover now. But uh, this is just had uh, just a little under an hour to do this as I got started here, and uh, I touched it up just a bit afterwards. But most of uh, everything important happened during the course of this video. So um, apart from that. Uh, what I wanted to talk about was, you know what, right when I was doing this video, right when I was doing this watercolor, I was going through a period where, and I still am, where I'm having a real difficult time uh, painting or drawing or doing anything creatively. And uh, not that I lack of any resources uh, as far as... Um, materials or, or, or even models and you know it's, I, I'm working from a photo reference here but uh, you know I, I have everything I need it's just that there are times where I come to a point where it seems like that everything that I do is just awful and it can be really deflating um, and I'm talking about you know when I'm talking about when it's difficult to paint I'm talking about something other than just being tired or there's some outside pressures that are going on, whether it's family or work or whatever. I'm talking about just um, just inspiring to be uh, or aspiring to be better than what you are, to be better than what you've been. And um, so, you know, I'm, I'm trying, I guess I'm trying to achieve a goal to, to just be a better artist. Uh, one of the ways it shows is in your your uh, your abilities, your your creative, not creative, uh, uh, your technical abilities. So um, this and this is what I'm, I'm I'm shooting for here, and it just seems like there there doesn't seem to be anything that I can do to make a good picture at this point. So and the thing is that I, I you know the the only thing you can do is struggle through it. I remember that I had a, a teacher at, at uh, High School of Art and Design uh, who taught watercolor and drawing and painting from life. And oh, and he went on to teach at the Art Students League as well after this and, and also at the School of Visual Arts. Uh, his name was Erwin Greenberg. And one of the things he talks about is that when it comes to artistic growth, there comes a time where, where you, you're growing and you, you see changes in your art and so forth then you kind of plateau and, and, and everything just kind of levels off and, and, and you're, you're like coasting for a while. And then there comes another spurt of growth and then you plateau again and it goes on and on like that. Um, you know, it, 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 it is kind of like that. Um, there, there's also another, uh, um, another thing that I like to recall when it comes to times like this is that you know what you're not no one is uh um immune to it uh i'm not the only person that goes through this i remember there's a story of norman rockwell uh how he struggled at one point in his career and it was it just seemed like he couldn't do any painting right and you know what we look at it from from the standpoint of uh maybe fans or just people who love his work and we look at it and we say well you know what it looks perfectly good to me you know they're, they're, but there's a case where Rockwell even says that as he's working on a painting he didn't realize it but one of the figures in in, in his painting he actually gave a, a third leg to so it seems like the person has a third leg and it, it isn't an obvious thing it's just a um it, it, it was just the way it was painted, kind of in the shadows, and 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 it seemed like a a leg emerged where it should not have. Um, but it was something that he would have caught at a certain time if he wasn't struggling so much to to just improve his art. And um, so, but the thing is that look, it's not unusual. Uh, everyone goes through a difficult time as far as, as, as growing and becoming better is concerned and no one is immune to it. When I mean, when I look, like I said, when I look at Norman Rockwell's paintings, they all look remarkable to me. Even the paintings from the specific period that he was talking about, um, 
you know, when you look at his paintings, they, they all look terrific to me. Um, uh, you know what, maybe the, it wasn't all of his best work. And as a matter of fact, after he, he worked through that difficult time, some of his better paintings were, were still to be painted. They, they, they were, you know, they, they were the up, they were the, the next thing that, that he was going to work on. And so, um, you know, he, he worked through that and he became a better artist be, because of it. And you know what, that, that this struggle that, that you have or that I have is just a kind of an, an inner call to, to want to improve yourself and to want to be better. And it's, it's something that happens now. I don't think this this painting that I did this watercolor that I did is is a particularly terrible painting. Um, there there's uh, there's some ways that that um, you know I, I I persevered and and pulled out something out of this, but at the same time there's some things that I want as far as as painting is concerned that that um, I didn't get from this. Um, the way I lay down the washes, the way, you know, and, and a lot of this comes from perfecting the craft, getting used to watercolors, which is a very difficult medium to begin with. But after so many years of having worked with it, you know, I, 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 um, I, I, I just want to get a better handle on, on the, um, the medium as well as, you know, there, there's always struggles with drawing. There's always things to work out in my drawing and, and, and so forth. And and as I, I painted this picture, so I, I mean, a painting, like I've said before, is always a series of corrections. It's always you, you put down your best guesses as far as what you, you know, what, what you see um, or what you think belongs there. And then the, the rest of the painting goes on. Uh, building on that, making corrections, making changes, um, emphasizing things, de-emphasizing things, just, you know, just, uh, uh, um, just building your painting. But you know what? The first few lines, the first few brushstrokes are always, um, your best guess, your best guess. And then sometimes your best guess is wrong. And, and a lot of times, the, um, a lot of the painting is going to be correcting what you put down at first. Now, the thing is, it really has to be a get best guess. It can't be just haphazardly throwing things down and and saying that and hoping for the best that it's going to work or uh, um, praying for a happy accident and so forth. I mean, those things happen. But you know what? The more you get things boiled down to a science, um, the easier it'll go. And, um, that's one of the things that, that, you know, that, that I shoot for that, you know, what there, there's some things that, especially in the beginning part of a painting, like the drawing and stuff like that, you have to get that right. You have to take your time to get it right. The value structure, you have to take that time to get it right. And it's all a matter of, of, of looking, comparing, putting down what you see, uh, making corrections and so forth. But everything has to be done carefully. Um, so, as a matter of fact, I, I mean, just just getting back to uh, the the main topic was that you know what the, the the most difficult time to paint is really the most important time to paint. That's the time where where um, where I would learn the most, where I would push myself to be better. And they're, they're, I mean, during these times, I before I came up with this painting, there were three paintings before this one where I simply balled up the, the, the paper and I just tossed it out. That doesn't mean giving up. That means, you know, because what I did was I continued to paint. I continued to paint till I had something that something that was the the fruit of the struggle something that came out of the struggle that was um that i could live with that i can say okay i put up a good fight and this is what i got so this is the best i could do at the time and that's a very important thing that what you do is is it has to be the best that you can do at the time doesn't mean that it's going to be perfect 
doesn't mean that you know what that's the end of it and you know you're going to grow beyond that an honest and sincere effort so that at the end of it you said well whatever came out this was this was the best that I could do and um for this moment in time and this struggle this was the best that I can pull off now I look forward to building on that to doing an even better job. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to do uh, probably another version of this. I'm just going to keep sketching and 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 getting to uh, um, getting used to uh, what I'm shooting for. I'm also using a different paper than I what I ordinarily use. This is a um, I usually use a, a cold press, which is more grainy. This is a hot press, so it takes the colors differently. It, it it's a it's kind of a new experience. I'm not blaming this on the materials, however. You know, it, it's something that, you know, that that's just different and new in terms of what I'm using right now. But it's not something that I have not used before. It's just that, you know, for a long time I had preferred to use a cold press. And there are uh, different ways of working with watercolors. It's just a, a matter of adjusting to whatever the paper is or whatever the materials are and using it to, you know, and, and using it and, and, and getting used to it. Um, but, like I said, I didn't think this was a bad painting. The, 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 the product of the struggle is the growth that you get if you don't give up. And um, I think that, you know, I think that not giving up and working and, you know, uh, even though I had thrown out three previous attempts, I didn't give up on attempting to uh, make this uh, uh, make uh, come up with a successful watercolor. You know, you you don't give up because the the thing is that it never ends. There's always going to be uh, ways that you want to improve yourself. Now, I, I talk about this and I talk a lot about this, and I'm, I'm very very self critical. When it comes to my work, um, for the reasons, the reason why is I don't want to accept mediocrity. Now I've I've said this before, and um, some well-meaning person had come out and said uh, sent me an email and said, "Look, why struggle?" And then uh, they sent me a a, a a link to the paintings that they do that, that this particular artist did. And I mean, you look at one or two of the paintings and. They were beautiful. They were nicely done. I, I got to give it to them. It was a nice painting. However, when you look at the totality of all the, the, the paintings that this person had, they all looked the same. They all relied on a technique. They all relied on um, on, on just a, a formula. And, and it was all also the same um, the same subject matter. Now, you know, and, and I'm not talking about, I mean, I, I, I draw and paint figures, uh, portraits and so forth. And, and so in, in the sense that is this, the same subject matter, but it's also the subject matter in different situations. I'm talking about the same subject matter. It was like the same picture. It's like imagine painting the same flower over and over and over again, just different versions of that same flower. And um, there's nothing else, you know. Uh, this person had more like fantasy type pieces and says so kind of a, a dreamy kind of thing, but it was all the same thing. And so I don't want to be stuck in a rut where I'm kind of like that that one trick pony, that 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 thing where you there's only the one thing that you are capable of doing, and um, you don't grow beyond that. I I, I you know I want to do better than that in terms of my art and uh, I don't want it to be boring for me because that would be boring if um, the expectations I, I mean the, the expectation would always be the same the results would always be the same um, you just kind of make it less creative and more like a, a job that you do um, so uh, I mean, uh, um, I would rather grow as an artist in terms of uh, my skills, my abilities, and also, um, 
you know what what I put down. Um, hopefully that this goes beyond just a, a, a drawing of a, or a painting of a face. Uh, I get the particular person's character. I get something of a human being down here, where um, it becomes a personality, because um, that's something to shoot for as well. You don't want to paint something or draw something that it's just bland. It's just a, a, a textbook version of what uh, a head should be or a face should be. Um, you want a particular. You want to make it look like an individual. So anyway, those are my thoughts uh, as I'm going through a difficult time, uh, trying to uh, get some work done and trying to grow and, and um, perfect what it is that, that, that I do. Um, but um, there is uh, light at the end of the tunnel. This is something that's not unusual for any artist. This is something that every artist has to go through if you want to be better, if you want to improve. Um, so it is what I, it is what it is. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Um, what I do want to encourage uh, the viewers here on YouTube is that I have a Patreon channel, I have a Patreon page, and on that page I I, um, I post. Uh, um, images of my paintings as well as uh, tutorials and uh, some tutorials which I had uh, sold on Gumroad which I make available for my Patreons also there's a monthly sketchbook that I put out that you can download and so forth uh, if you want to support this channel um, I invite you to come support me on Patreon as well I will put the, the links below and also, I might as well uh, put the links below to um, the materials I use because I, I particularly like this paper. It's it's different from what I've used um, in the past, even when I've used hot press paper. This is a nice um, Arches hot press paper that, that's available in a pad. Um, also, this hot press paper makes great paper for drawing. It, it is a nice, uh, nice uh, a soft texture to it. Also, um, this Princeton brush, which I am really enjoying, uh, um, because it makes like it, it, it holds a lot of water and it holds a lot of pigment. It also um, does a, a very, very uh, um, fine lines and, and, and broad lines, and it's a, a very, very nice brush. I, I was uh, pleasantly surprised with this brush. This is just an old. Uh, um, brush or old watercolor brush with stiffer bristles what I like to do with this is basically um, just add water not color add water so that I can lift up see as you see on the, the, the chin right there that I'm working on I'm lifting up some of the paint and so you can do this uh, one the paper has to be really good so you're not just uh, um, uh, ruining the fibers of the paper and so forth um, and two um, the brush has to be like a, just the bristles a little bit stiffer. Uh, again, not too much so you don't fray uh, uh, the, the, the paper. You don't make it uh, um, so the, 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 the colors of the paint won't uh, bleed off, you know, when you, when you apply more paint to it. So, but you can make some subtle changes. It's uh, uh, um, not wholesale changes, you know, it, it's kind of difficult to do. Uh, but that also depends on the the thickness of the paper that you're using. Like I would do that on, on cold press uh, paper on 300 pound. I've used a toothbrush to remove paint on it. Um, and it can take a beating. This paper is a little bit more delicate than that. Um, but it's still, it's good paper. And I use a soft... Uh, um, a soft... Uh, synthetic sable brush even though uh, it's still even though the, the bristles are a little stiffer than the other ones they're, they're still soft bristles so I'm not damaging the paper so anyway that's it I'm going to let this video play out and then when it finishes you will see the end result uh, like I said I touched it up a little bit as uh, um, I was uh, finishing 
uh, I had like oh maybe about 40 minutes uh, left of my lunch hour to work on uh, on this uh, painting uh, uh, you know as I got set up uh, as, as I set up the, the, the camera and everything to, to, to record it and then uh, got my materials out but um, so anyway that's pretty much it please join me on patreon uh, I'll leave the link below and uh, if this uh, video was helpful please hit the like button uh, show me that uh, uh, um, that these videos matter all right Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.